I'm joined now by Stephen Boyer, who plays religious teen Jason and the character of Tyrone, who we're going to talk all about in the play Hand to God on Broadway. Stephen, thank you so much for joining me. Great to be here. All right. I want to get right into Hand to God because okay. it is, uh, it's like, Devilishly delicious. Did someone say that already? Devilishly delicious. Did I take that from someone? It's, like, or did it's they... like a breakfast cereal. It's some kind of breakfast cereal. <laughs> if you wake up with Hand to God, you're having some kind of a day. <laughs> I wake up with it every day. You wake up with it every day. All yeah. right, so let's talk about this. You play two characters. You play Jason yes. and Tyrone. Yeah. Jason has a puppet named Tyrone in this puppet ministry yeah. in Texas. His father has recently passed away, and his mother runs the puppet ministry in the church basement. Right, right, right. And they're not dealing with his loss very well, mm -hmm. and they start acting out in, in various inappropriate ways. Right. And in the midst of all this, Jason's puppet, his sock puppet, Tyrone, becomes possessed by the devil. Got it now, guys? <laughs> it's a classic story. <laughs> we've heard this. We have, we've seen it so Tales many times. Tales this time. This story and Jason and Tyrone. Yeah. It's like the dichotomy inside everyone, yes. right? I mean, it's great, because with this character, I get to kind of be the young, naive, innocent, straight man in the comedy duo. And then I get to be the, 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 the devilish, uh, the villain that basically gets all the good jokes. I Where is he now? He's as at we... the theater, you know, nice hanging out. Nice of him to join you. In his dressing Come on. room. Yeah, he's got a much nicer dressing room than mine. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What's in Ty uh, Tyrone's dressing room? A bar. A lot of it. That's about it. That's, I think that's it. Yeah. <laughs> a bar at a place to crash. <laughs> yes. What more do you need? What's it like though playing these two characters at once? It's it really messes with your mind. Um, <laughs> it's kind of the hardest thing I've ever been asked to do. I feel like after Hand to God, any other role is going to feel like a vacation. Mm -hmm. Like even if it's just like, even, even if it's like a one man Hamlet, I'm like, at least I'm only playing one character at a time. Oh my God. Not an easy job for you and a, dare I say, dangerous one. It's left oh, yeah. with quite a few injuries yeah. i understand yeah <laughs> what's like I've the broken, tally up well i've 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 broken my finger uh during a matinee mm -hmm. had to finish the show and then do the evening show with a broken finger Brained. at least you can put it i mean at least you have time and yeah i mean at least it was in the puppet right I mean, you know we there's there's a lot of violence in the show. There is. There, there is a lot of fighting and hammers and hammers and sex and blood and jokes and it's really It's rated G too. What? <laughs> yeah, not not rated G. <laughs> right. This, we don't want to confuse them anymore. Yeah, yeah. Leave the kids at home. <laughs> right. Even with sock puppets. Even with sock puppets. You're really so you, you, the you light. don't know what to expect. So let's take me back a little bit before Hand to God. Yeah. Uh, you're no stranger to the stage, but you started your some of your stage work as a stand-up comedian, yeah. I heard, and impressions were a lot of your talent. I, I, I did do some impressions, yeah. <laughs> you did do some uh, yeah. impressions. I mean, I do impressions. Right? <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> that's that's convenient. Yeah, it didn't leave. It's still <laughs> yeah. here. Any in uh, your bag of tricks of some good uh, Jewish celebrities or? Oh, well, I mean, Seth Rogen, actually. Uh, hey, yeah, um, it's awesome. Uh, uh, Seth Rogen likes to get really <laughs> high. Uh, that's kind of his thing. Yeah. Uh, this was a lot better impression when I wasn't this skinny. <laughs> um, it was good now. Do you do the Seth Rogen laugh? He has like... <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's great. <laughs> um, yeah, he's mostly just kind of bewildered all the time. <laughs> yes, yes. And he's, or stoned. And or stoned. Yeah. Pro yes. Well, he that's a good one from the tribe. I, yeah. That, all right. Very, Seth Rogen. Who he's, else is your favorite to do? Doesn't have to be Jewish. You, you um, checked that box. Um, <laughs> I, uh, uh, Michael J. Fox. He's a great one. It's just kind of... Doc, you built a time machine out of a DeLorean. <laughs> Gotta get back to 1985. I want to uh, end on a funnier, if not most bizarre note of uh, Hand to God's yeah. recent history. In early July, you infamously had an audience member who was apparently, admittedly, uh, had had a few drinks. Yeah. 
jump onto the stage and try to use a outlet on a set to charge his phone. Yeah, he thought it was actually going to work, which is surprising. Sli or not, knowing that he was maybe intoxicated. I mean, yeah. yeah. Maybe. Maybe it's not maybe. <laughs> the word. He's also 19, which is I funny. Know, he's, like, he's like, I was drinking with my family, and then we showed up. He said he, said he didn't realize that the stage was off limits. <laughs> so, what did you think when you we've heard? We've got the smartest audiences. You do vocal and intelligent. <laughs> you are you are pulling them in. Yeah. Hey, whoever fills the seats, right? Yeah, you know, we'll we'll, we'll <laughs> take we, one, we take, take all, all comers. Yeah, Stephen Boyer, thank you so much for thank joining you. me. The play is Hand to God. It is so wonderful. Go over to the Booth Theater now and see it.